one thing I'm particularly proud of is the way in which Ilori over the years has really made an effort to make sure that the research that we do actually informs policy development. What that has done is it has strengthened the type of policies that government is making. And from Ilori perspective as a research institution, one of the ways in which researchers can have the most impact is by influencing policy decisions because it is the policy decisions that then inform what type of programs countries put in place and it is those programs that help take things to scale so if you don't engage with policy the likelihood that you can go to program and then scale is limited i think in terms of transformation what I see happening in Ethiopia is a, a perspective of really wanting to take a systems uh, look at how agriculture transforms. So a good example is how the country has responded to the UN Food Systems Summit and the type of transformation pathway that they developed. Not only does it talk about production and production diversity, it also talks about how does that link to diets and then nutrition. And then there are also elements of markets, there are elements of energy, there are elements of um, bringing on board resilience for vulnerable communities such as what we see in pastoralist uh, settings. For you to be able to look at all those holistically, you have to take a systems approach. And so I like the way in which, for example, they've put together the, the governance structure to include 15 uh, sectoral ministries in their steering uh, committee. Um, if you have 15 ministries that are part of the steering committee, you can't help but take a systems approach. Um, and it will force you to take a food systems approach. Uh, then the other thing is also, we had a project where we were supposed to, uh, we've been working to develop a monitoring and evaluation framework. And essentially what the government has asked us to do is to make sure that the list of the indicators that we develop can address uh, Ministry of Agriculture, sectoral operations, can address SDG reporting, can address the Comprehensive Africa Agriculture Development Program reporting, can address nationally determined contributions. They want a single list of indicators that will be used by the National Statistics Services so that regardless of which one of these platforms uh, the government needs to report to, the data will be there. That is a systems approach to data generation for reporting purposes. But that data can also be used for monitoring purposes. Well, sitting in a country that has taken quite a strong systems approach, um, challenges us as CGIR to take a systems approach as well. Um, and fortunately for us here in Ethiopia, the manner in which CGIR is structured through the hosting uh, structure that uh, Ellery has, it already has the makings of a 1CG perspective that allows us to come together. So one of the things that we have done with the food systems transformation pathway that I was talking about earlier, when they were doing a stock taking of progress, we were very deliberate. All the centers actually um, participated in the mapping 
So we all mapped our research to specific clusters um, of the transformation pathway. You saw me talking about clusters when I was making a presentation. So we've mapped all our research, both the ones for pooled funding and the one that comes from bilateral funding. We've mapped to those clusters. That provides two things. One, government is aware of what we are working on and can anticipate when certain evidence might come into place. Second, we also then uh, need to almost like work in parallel with the implementation process and as challenges uh, emerge, that then becomes a two-way process of we send evidence there and demand comes our way. If we can do that, and us being on one campus also helps. So yeah, it really comes together. Uh, many of our projects are multiple centers do working on the same projects. I mean, Africa Rice, uh, ICRA projects that I gave as examples. Yeah.